Okay. Hope y'all are ready for the bonus episode. This room gets stuck in. No achievements. Just story and fields, as far as I'm aware. Give another minute or so. Oh my god, and the loading thing for this one's a little pirate flag. Oh shit. Whew, this is gonna kick me right in the fucking field, isn't it? <laughs> Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. <laughs> Which one do we get to play as? No, we're Max. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess <laughs> Blowing I them do up. some actual cleaning too. Fair. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Hmm, just let me choose four. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. Fuck, so we're gonna have to break the news. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever. Neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Supermax and Dr. Kloenstein. <laughs> Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. 
Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Oh, this was concert our tickets. first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but how sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Oh yeah, let's go all in. Let's go for it. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right, back to the junk mines. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Well, to the trash with you. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. Yeah, but we never play it, so... We haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. <laughs> nice try, Max. But you can't erase your shame that easily. Oh, do you want to play again? Oh, she's... She's not going to want to trash anything. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you. Oh, almighty glowy bear. That's exactly usual, what's going to happen. Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE, though. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. Or soon to be. Hey. What's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. You need to keep him on his toes. Ooh. That stings. <laughs> and you know what <laughs> happens. Actually, it's kind of cool. Wonder if this is where she got her fascination with. I bet Chloe's parents were all. freaking out when she got this letter. Her acceptance with the Blackwell. I still yeah. can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart, and the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're fine. She hasn't met any friends. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding. Well, your we're not going to let this slide. Is everything okay? I don't know. I just I like hanging out with normal people, like you. Thanks. I guess. It's going to make it hard to you say goodbye. I, mean. I, I hate fake people. You're real. Thanks. Yeah, that's gonna suck. What about the drawer? This seems to the trash. Like a good candidate. <clears throat> She's not gonna want to get rid of it. That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You, you don't use it since the fifth grade talent show. 
Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't. So tell it's me our there. fault. Okay. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I say about throwing stuff away, she's not going to want to. say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Yikes. No, thank you. That was awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. I don't want to get rid of Mr. Sharky. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. I know I'll go to trash it and she'll get mad, so I don't think I want to do that. Why would we get rid of Mr. Sharky? Whoa. What's this? Talk about embarrassing. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Let's get rid of whatever these are. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? <laughs> Sharpie you boob jobs. You drew boobs on all of them. I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. See, she doesn't want to get rid of anything, so. Okay. Whenever I'm ready, Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Okay, let's trash Mr. Sharking. You know Let her get mad. I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. Yep, uh, that's that's the reaction I expected. <laughs> oh, come on, really? She's gonna fight me over a jawbreaker too. What about this? Half-eaten jawbreaker. A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. <sighs> Fine. Right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> and she just chucked it in the junk drawer Chloe's anyway. She's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Let's see, did we take it out? What, what'd she say? What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It's all tattered. It, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That yeah, no, just dump it. Wearing it before. It's fine. Really. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess Crime. now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. 
No, I'm gonna have. If I tell her not, we can make the most of it. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's. I. Don't know how to. Shit! Max, hold that thought. Not gonna let me. Even whenever I want to tell her, it's not gonna let me until the end. Uh, pirate next tip. Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were. Eight oh years no. Old. That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out. <laughs> a vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. <laughs> oh my god. You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, see mine eyes spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, project? <laughs> Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Uh. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure ye seek, ye've come to the right place. But be forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those <laughs> with pure hearts will be able to see. But the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And okay. Uh, so we gotta find the treasure. <laughs> Dude, that was. Amazing. Brilliant. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Was it the comics? Our old sketchbook. This okay. Is all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Crow's nest. Saloon cockpit. Gallery. Cannons. Treasure keep. <laughs> Pogo the pirate. No bathing. No boys on the ship. No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Free to play, these roads will result in plank walking. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder Captain's if log. it's the map. Uh, take the map from us. Fight for treasure. Hey, check this okay. out. Okay. So it's torn up. Ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I... Oh my god, did we find it instantly? Bingo. What? Okay. <clears throat> uh huh.
the only secret lair. Dark Cavern is where the amulet is, which leads to Treasure Island, which leads to the castle. Interesting. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, aka the attic. Ugh. Why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Was. <laughs> still scary. Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. <coughs> Time to face your fears then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. There it is, the dark cavern. Crap, I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. Hey, crit. This will work. Maybe. Probably still too short. Yeah. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. Or use a one of the brooms. Toolbox. Toothbrush, although that won't work. What you yes, want to say about the towel? Really who, who, who would though? Anything in here we can stand on? Chloe's Nicotine gun. I don't think she ever does. Also, oh, we do need the toolbox as well. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. No? Can I just... Hmm. Surely... I could close. There's no fucking way we stand on the Chloe's toothbrush. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well... I used to. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. She's just gonna go around looking Makeup at the place and making herself sad. Halloween costumes. Any other <clears throat> on taking all the blame even after she got grounded she never squealed what a friend I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again I mean not the toolbox but Several books? Okay. <clears throat> I think that should be tall enough. Hmm, do you reckon?
I still think using one of the brooms to to hook around the the latch would have worked. There's a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet. Well, I can take a photo of it. <laughs> I mean, there's no... There's no collectibles. But that's how we... See the map collection. I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. Oh, what a gift of a movie. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. Just to shove this chair out of the way. I think I can squeeze through now. What the fuck with a fish tank? Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. And pull this out of the way. How the fuck did they manage to get it up in here when they were smaller? Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. I need to move that cooler, but this desk is in the way. Oh, oh, okay. Ugh, this desk's pretty heavy. I see now. And then the cooler comes out. Glad this thing is empty. To the amulet. Finally. Finally. Got you. Is it booby trapped? Cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Chloe Price. 
my best friend. It's so weird being back in his attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And spiders. Are you That's just watching mood. me up there, Creeper? You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend. That's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. No big deal. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Hey, what Chloe. Up? Yar. Land ho. Perfect. Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot or peg on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Granted. One amulet coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes. Damn it. I forget how to make this stay on. Stay here. I'll find something to hold it on. Thanks, Max. Time to stick the amulet to the telescope. Then that Chloe's bottle rocket. The fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. Interesting. Is there stuff inside? Oh, tip. Score. One step this closer work. to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. Well, that is... I wish this was big enough to jump in. It's only September. Oh, it's just really leaf totally paths. dive bombable in a few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks. Take the tip. You brought me prize. Oh, who are Pirates you, tip. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were going to be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Pirates for life. Let's go. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Okay, this drawing is supposed to line up with something.
Ah. Got it. Yep. <laughs> yes, you rock. Where is it? Here? Um. Okay, take a step left. No, no your left, not my way. left. You said left. <sighs> yeah, your other, your other left. left. Go the other way. I said the left, way as in her left. left. Just go, go that way. Perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. Right there. Then what the fuck did we just find? Um... What? What is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. It looks like a keg. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Or, uh, <sighs> of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. <laughs> Ahoy there, plank walkers. <laughs> it's me, Buddy Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary, I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed. And always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. <laughs> Ugh. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! <laughs> Billy the Squid. Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. Uh. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you are so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine. <laughs> okay, let's give it a read. Dear Chloe, how are you today? I'm doing very well. It is Friday, June 27th, 2003, summer vacation. We are making a time capsule for you and me in the future. Pirate themed. Was another alert to find. There are some things we like. Favorite animal, Arabian horse, otter. Favorite food, lobster roll, coffee, ice cream. Favorite class in school, art or library, science. Best friend, each other. How about you? Are you age 12 or more? What are your favorite foods, movies, etc.? That's all for now. I hope you're having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. 
Hello from 2003. Here is a record of how we spend our days. Can you guess which one is real? When we go to the same school, we always sit together at lunch. Duh, we sleep over at least once a week. Extremely salty pretzels. We are in a race to see if you can convince your parents to get a pet first. Going to live together and we can afford it and can only use gold paint. We've battled many foes and never failed to save each other. What did you guess? If you guessed all of them, you're right. Your friend forever. You were really sweet. Oh man, that was really goofy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Just dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember oh, the no. art? Oh, I love this stuff. Oh no. Oh no. Draw something. This is the day he died, isn't it? That's why they're not home yet. All these memories. I mean, it's good to see you, old friend. It actually might be really fun to write letters to Chloe after I move. Is writing once a week too often? Will I run out of things to say? A time capsule with recording things was so much fun in third grade. Blue pen. We used to read every issue from cover to cover. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. Manga might be the one thing where Chloe out nerds me. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little nostalgic. Much better. That was a good week. I used every possible excuse to be here for breakfast. I always look especially short next to Chloe. Yep, this is the day. Chloe's the day it happens. Live in Idaho now. I guess compared to that, Seattle's not so far. These used to make great pirate swords. Goodbye, Vase. Soon you won't have to worry about me knocking you over anymore. Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. Hey! What if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? If only it went out that way. Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago, but I still feel bad about it. That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking about this. You sure were troublesome to find. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. Only one way to find out. Chloe and I have been friends for so long. No peeking at my work. I wasn't. Get out of here. Nope, can't make me. I'm gonna sit down.
Ah, keep messing up my picture. There are no mistakes in art. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. Yeah, no, I... Today's been awesome, huh? For real. I love it when you stay over. Yeah. Oh, the cap. Yes. Pose for a photo with that. Okay. Tip your head back and put your arms out. And a really big smile. <laughs> like this? <laughs> it's perfect. Stop moving. Hmm. Really cute, Chloe. You're not so bad yourself. I guess I should try talking to Chloe again about my news. I'm I can do that after I finish looking at everything. So hey hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've seen everything. I think so. Well, perfect because now I'm finished. Check it out. This is so silly. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. This jawbreaker is going to last forever. Just like our friendship. Oh. Oh. Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Machine is alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once our parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the no, day. No, you have to have to tell her. We're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe uh, even want me to tell her? She didn't yeah, seem she... to want to talk about anything serious upstairs. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Just right? tell her. Chloe? Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um, my family's moving to Seattle really soon. Hey. In three days, right? What? She already knew. You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything. She knew and she just wanted to make the last day feel good. Don't look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. I should have just told you earlier. I feel so stupid. Max, I said it was okay. I was trying to tell you this morning. She also said yeah, it's not the end of the world, but unfortunately, the next time they do meet, Seriously, it will be. This hanging over us all day. Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so I just left it alone, you know? Come on. I want to spend every minute we have together having fun. I'm so worried that 
I won't be okay without you. Hey, stop that. Of course you'll be okay. We're Max and Chloe, remember? We're always together. Even when we're not. That's true. Cool. Let's find something fun to do. Yep. Fucking dead. Oh no. Got that but winter stole the summer's thrill and the rivers cracked and cold. See the sky is no man's land, a dark and plume to stay. Hope your needs a humble hand, not a fox found in your play. They moved to. Oh, yes, I know. But can't you see? Oh, or maybe you were the ocean when I was just a stone. So here we are. thinking if I could just see you but we'll get good at it great at it we'll write and talk all the time and then you'll come visit and it'll be like I never left I mean it 
You don't have to worry about anything changing. You're dealing with so much other stuff. You don't deserve any of this. Chloe, listen. Even if I never, even, even if we're moving for good, we are always together, okay? Even when we're apart, we're still Max and Chloe. I will always, always love you. Okay, that just about fucking destroyed me. I knew it would, and it did. Holy shit. <sighs> yeah, how's it going? So, yeah, they're literally just about to call. Missed something. Yeah, it was a uh, that was the bonus secret bonus stream. Didn't tweet about it. Just did a little notification in the Discord because I was meant to finish. We finished the main prequel before the storm episodes one through three earlier in the week, and there was a bonus episode that was released with the remaster that I'd never played before. So like, uh, I'll do that. It only lasts about an hour. I have a quick little bonus stream for the bonus episode. And about halfway into it, I realized what was going on. And even when I realized that, it still did not lessen the blow. Like, damn. Like, the, the, the letters and all, and her saying that, oh, you're moving away, it's not the end of the world, but it's the same day. Of the accident, which is pretty much the end of her her world in a family sense, and then Max moves away. And then the next time they meet each other is in the original Life is Strange, that is legitimately the end of the world. Oh I I was I was prepared <laughs> I was prepared to feel sad, but not not like this. <laughs> You know, I was uh, definitely, definitely not prepared for that. But yeah, how'd, uh, how'd, uh, how'd Skyrim go? I was in, in a little bit earlier, lurking for a while, seeing you having struggling with the, uh, the amulet of Galder. Kicking your butt not stop that I have, but I'm uh, just looking for someone to send a raid to because that's that's all I had nothing planned except for this. And I think after the emotional gut punch that was, I think I think I just I need to just sit back for a moment, you know. <laughs> Couldn't chug the potions fast enough, I bet. Yeah, we did. The three before the storms, and then this super secret hidden bonus episode there now. Farewell. And what a farewell it was. But uh, yeah, farewell indeed. That's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, I know we've just, just about hit the one hour mark, so it's a pretty short stream, but the episode only lasted for an hour. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna look for someone to raid and do uh, check out stream tomorrow. We'll be doing our 
I said our usual Saturday night smite, but we had issues with it last week and ended up doing Overwatch instead. So just, you know, keep your eye on the socials and the Discord. It will, for the time being, it'll be smite. But if things change, it'll likely swap to Overwatch or something. Find someone to raid in the meantime. Oh, do check out this as well, by the way. I'll throw this up for a moment. But yeah, it's gonna be it. Uh, can't speak over the subathon thing, but yeah, that's posted in the Discord and on socials as well. So do check it out. There are some ideas for stretch goals at the minute, but that is, I'll keep some of those close to the vest until closer to the time, just in case we don't hit it. Yeah, I mean to do. Uh, you know, I did the raid commands. So just you know, insert raid message here. Pop that over. And I'll catch you on the next one.